The historic strike of auto workers, that has been going on for over 40 hours at this point. News 11's Laura Simon spoke with GM workers picketing in Winsville. Instead of being on the assembly line, United Auto Workers like Doug Thompson are on the picket line. As far as I know, if uh, an employee was hired after 2007, then they were no longer eligible for a pension, so they, they can do a 401k as an option with the company matching it. And then uh, upon retirement as a new hire, then the new hires would no longer have health care. Uh, upon retirement. Thompson is a millwright. He's worked here at the General Motors Wentzville Assembly Center for seven years and has worked in the auto industry for 30. I love what I do. Workers are protesting for a second straight day lined up at several entrances here at the GM plant in Wentzville. They are asking for more money, cost of living adjustments and better benefits. They'd also like to see the pensions that they lost during the Great Recession restored. When the recession happened more than a decade ago, uh, we had to give so that the company could continue to thrive and to do well. And so now we feel like it's time for them to give back. It's very heartbreaking. It's, it's like, you know, you're building vehicles for the rich pretty much and the middle class and you can't, we can't afford these vehicles. So I think that it's only fair that they level the playing field. Sharon Pitts tells me she makes $29 an hour. I am hoping to get paid at least $35, $36 an hour. With inflation going up, it's like we are living seriously paycheck to paycheck. The contract between the UAW union and Ford General Motors and Stellantis expired early Friday. And now walkouts are happening here in Missouri, Ohio and Michigan. It's a first in our history with the union striking against all big three automakers at the same time. The UAW is also demanding a 36 percent pay raise, medical benefits after retirement and a four day work week. The CEOs say it's unrealistic and this will not only impact the automakers, but it could also damage the nation's economy. No one wins. The employee doesn't win. The communities suffer. You know, at General Motors, for every one job we have, it supports six other jobs in the economy. We're the ones breaking our bodies down while they, they're sitting behind desks, and it's not fair that they're making the big bucks and we're getting by on the scraps. How long do you think this strike is going to last? I was here on the same gate in 2019. I was on strike holding the same sign. That strike lasted for about six weeks. Since all three are striking this time uh, in the UAW, I think that it could go a little bit longer. Reporting in Wentzville, Laura Simon, News 11.